everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Myani, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my long-awaited, at least for me anyway, because it's in my house and I'm excited about it, <laughs> my long-awaited bathroom makeover video. I had a second bathroom fitted recently and I can't wait to show you how it went from dusty old boiler cupboard to full bathroom with a shower and everything. But before I jump into today's video, I wanna let you know it's very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. If you wanna make a website, a blog, an e-commerce platform, check out Squarespace at squarespace.com slash Hermione Chantel and use the code Hermione Chantel for 10% off and a free trial. I'll tell you more later, but without further ado, let's jump into the bathroom. So the first thing I have to show you is the before. I've addressed this in my last bathroom video where I discussed all of the planning, the preparation, outline the costs and stuff like that. So if you're renovating a house, you might wanna check that one out. But this one is gonna be the full transformation. So let's refresh our memories. This is the disgusting hovel that it used to be before. As you can see, there was a boiler installed because when I first got into the house, there was no heating, no radiators, nothing. So I had to put the boiler somewhere and we chose what was this toilet room to house it. But it meant that there was no space for a toilet or anything of the like. So I decided I really wanted to knock through, take a little bit of space from the small bedroom next door and make it into a full shower room to hopefully increase the value of the house when and I do go to sell it one day, but also to be able to enjoy a nice shower room for myself. While my builder was in doing all of the bits, I took some shots at the end of the day to kind of do like a diary of what was going on. So I'm gonna show you how that progressed over the course of a few weeks. Let's do that first. Day one, and the wall is down. This is the new partition for the bathroom. So you can kind of see the footprint now. Had a bit of a change around. So this is now gonna be the shower. Whereas before it was gonna be here. This is now gonna be a cupboard for the small bedroom for extra storage space. Toilet's still gonna go there and sink on the other side. And surprisingly, this room still has a reasonable amount of space. So very excited. Okay, we're on day two. Let me show you what's going on in here today. So as you come in, the door is not on at the moment, but that's okay. The bathroom actually has walls. What? This is so cool. And I believe the toilet pipe has been rerouted because it's moving ever so slightly over. Oh boy, <laughs> careful. As you can see here, this is the boiler cabinet. I think he's installed this ledge today and the paneling will come down from here. Sink, tiny sink, toilet, shower, and little alcove for stepping into the shower. Day three and this is what we're working with today. And everything that's not being tiled has been plastered, including this section here. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. And the new wall in the little bedroom has been plastered as well. Another little bathroom update. It's been another half day that he's been working in here. As you can see, he's done a lovely job on the paneling and adding the little shelf around the top. The sink is going here, so it'd be nice to have a place to put bits and bobs and then a mirror. And it runs all the way around the edge. Oh, it's looking so good. And while I've been waiting for a while for the bathroom bits to arrive, I have got the tiles. So these are the ones that are going on the floor. The ones for the shower cubicle are basic metro tile, but uh, these are the Laura Ashley inspired tiles that match my other bathroom. Okay, you can tell I have a very specific type and uh, taste, but I like them. Hopefully later this week more things will arrive so I can update you on the progress. So my plumber was in today and he's tiled all of the backsplash for the shower. That is insane. He did that in a couple of hours. He's cut all of the floor tiles. They're ready to go down, but he stopped doing that because... Can you see that? <gasps> we have spotlights! Look how cool they are! I mean, they don't look cool when the ceiling's not quite finished, but th th they are very cool. I also noticed that he's um, put a nice little trim around the hole in the ceiling, so that's nice. Hello, it's really bright in here. We're on the penultimate update before I start painting. Let me show you what the bathroom's looking like. So, 
the tiles and the tray have been fitted. Today he's done all of this skirting, he's put in my sink, which looks a lot smaller than it actually is. <laughs> I mean, it's reasonable for this space, it's okay. We have a door here. Something plumbing wise is happening there and it's been grouted. I did go with the dark grout on the floor to match the tiles and then I thought I'd take it up here to give it that kind of geometric look. But yeah, it's looking pretty good in here. At this point my builder was getting pretty close to completion and because I had opted to do the decorating myself to save some money, I had to paint the door, the walls and the ceiling. So I started with the door which my builder took off the hinges for me and I took it outside and I gave it a good scrub down. <laughs> both sides and I painted the side that was going into the bathroom. If you're wondering why I didn't do the other side, it was because leaves kept blowing into my paint. So I decided to hang it up first because I have a few bits to paint in the hallway anyway. We will get to that in the next couple of weeks, but for the time being, the main part is done. And if you're wondering what happened with that little toilet sign, I did keep that because I thought it looked really cool. So I'm gonna reapply that to the outside when it comes time to paint. I couldn't get rid of that. I feel like it's a little bit of history of the house. So next I cracked on with the painting and the first thing I did was prep all of the surfaces. I laid down paper on the entire floor because knowing me, I'm very clumsy and I get paint everywhere. So I really didn't want to damage the lovely new tiles. And I taped up all of the woodwork with some frog tape, which I find is the best tape because other masking tapes leave a horrible mess and they go all blobby. So I'm a big fan of the frog tape. <laughs> the first thing I painted were the walls and the ceiling with just a flat white color. I diluted this with 50% water for the first coat because it had been freshly plastered and you're supposed to do that with emulsion. Not really sure why but we did that anyway and then I carried on with a couple more coats of white paint until it was looking nice and sharp. When that was dry, I moved on to the panel board, which I wanted to paint a really dark contrasting color that would match the tiles, but contrast with the white on the walls. So I went for, I believe it's called Downpipe by Farrow and Ball. She sprung for the Farrow and Ball. I know we're out here spending money, but uh, I think it was worth it because the color matched perfectly with the tiles. But before I went in with that color, I had to prime it. I used an undercoat primer and I used one in gray. They didn't have one in black but we just went for this one from B&Q because I wanted to make sure if the paneling got a scratch to it, it wouldn't be white underneath. Made that mistake on my bedroom walls, never again. It's an extra step, but I do feel like it means you have to do less coats of paint afterwards and it makes for a really nice smooth finish when you're done. Once I finished with the priming, it was time to paint and this is when I finally got to see the color. I had to do about three coats of this paint, which is pretty boring, but after a while, I was able to finally finish and see pretty much what the bathroom was going to look like. how far 
we've come up until this point, but of course we still need a few final touches and some very important bathroom items. So I actually went into Matalan recently and they had a mega sale going on, so I picked up a few bathroom bits and they're about £1 to £4 for the cup and the little squishy dispenser, that's the word, the toilet brush, you know, and I thought those were a bargain and I really liked the grey speckle colour, I think it went really well with the bathroom. And for the other bits, I kind of just went around my house picking out things that I had in my office. I had this lovely mirror. I thought about painting the outside rim black, but then I thought let's let's contrast it with the gold and see how it looks. I can always paint it at a later date. And I also borrowed this picture from my sitting room which I really like just to add a pop of pink because it's not a Hermione room without a hint of pink. Because I wasn't able to get a little shower cubby installed into the space because there actually ended up being not enough space or depth for it, I ended up finding this little wire shelf in Matalan. It's suction cup, so I'm a bit worried about putting really heavy items in, but I had these old bottles from the body shop that I decided to take the label off, put a new label on, and reuse as shampoo and conditioner bottles. They're much smaller, so they're lighter, and I think they look really neat and tidy. And then we just have a few final touches. place it's time to show you the full reveal <laughs> i'm so excited okay so here is what the bathroom looked like before just a quick refresh dusty old cupboard plaster blobs everywhere big hole in the top that birds would like to come through a dusty old window that wouldn't close properly and here is what it looks like now how this turned out it looks so cool and it's just very very different to what I went with with my other bathrooms ignoring the fact that I got basically the same tiles on the floor in a different color we don't talk about that but I think it's definitely much much different with the black and the contrast and it was so much fun to play around with yet still not too out there to hopefully scare away potential buyers in the future. But I love it. I'm really, really pleased. And I think I might use this as my main bathroom for a while because it feels very fancy and new. So um, let me know if you're doing any renovation in the comments down below. What are your next projects? I hope this video helped you and gave you a few insights into how the bathroom renovation process worked for me and before I finish today I want to let you know if you want to see any of my old home renovation pictures I put them up on my website which I made with Squarespace I love Squarespace I've been using it for years and years and years it is so easy to use and it is so movable and customizable they've got some gorgeous minimal templates that you can do almost anything with and I really enjoyed updating my website recently so if you want to create a website blog e-commerce platform or anything to your heart's desire check out Squarespace use the link squarespace.com slash Hermione Chantal and if you use the code Hermione Chantal you get 10% off and a free trial trust me it's really worth it if you want to set up a new website or a space on the internet that you can call your own it's so easy to use and I think it just looks really really chic so definitely check them out link below and with all of that being said thank you so much for watching my bathroom renovation project stay tuned because I'm going to tackle that little bedroom to the side next and I've got a few more things that I need to do around the house that are just crying out for attention so there's still going to be more home reno content coming your way but with all of that being said thank you so much for watching happy home renoing and I'll see you next time bye